All right, welcome back. This is still hashtag in the morning and at Y254 channel and at Brian Sakuano on the hashtag Y in the morning, the last conversation of the day. Uh, let us know where you're watching us from and we'll be gladly sampling your feedback towards the tail end of this uh, interview right here. Now we're about to get into an interesting conversation that's all about youth's opportunities and mentorship and what exactly is in there for you. The year has just begun, by the way, Thank God, January has ended. So also tell me, how was your January? I remember when you, we began on uh, week two, we had a conversation about in January, just some of the trials and some of the difficulties that young people out there go through, especially when it comes to beginning a new year. And I trust yours was fantastic, especially this January part. We are almost on the second last day, second last or third last. Please let us know, how has been January for you? We'll definitely be like to hear your sentiments and your experience. Mine has been fantastic, by the way, and I'm loving it. I can't wait to get into February. Well, away from that, let's get into the conversation about uh, youth opportunities and mentorship. And we are being joined live in studio right here with uh, Brian Kweyu. He is uh, Secretary General, or Secretary, he'll clarify further, at uh, Cooksa. He'll also tell us what Cooksa abbreviation stands for karibu sana mr brian Koyo. how are you thank you mr brian sako for having me and i'm fine all right karibu sana so tell us a brief um, background of what exactly you do for a person who is watching and uh, they definitely like to know you uh so currently i'm the secretary general of kuksa and kuksa stands for kakamega university college student association Right. So when you hear uh, college and university, it doesn't mean we are leaving out others in tertiary education. Mm. So we only came up with that abbreviation to uh, easen on other students in tertiary education. But Kuksa comprises of all the students whose origin of birth is in Kakamega, and they can be in KMTCs, they can be in TVET, they can be in Polytechnics, as long as they are in higher learning institution the members of Kuksa. So Kuksa, yeah. that is the uh, abbreviation of Kuksa. Right. Kakamega University College Student Association. Right. And um, apart from being the Secretary General of the Association, mm -hmm. I'm also a student yeah, in right. education first also. I'm right. a third year student at Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Right. And, uh, are they watching? Did you tell them? Yeah, they're they are watching actually. And they okay. uh, they are <laughs> I think they are watching me. Mm -hmm. They'll be giving their feedback and comments. All right. So. Uh, being here, I'm also representing the Kweaso government, that is the right. Catholic University Student Association, because yeah. I'm the secretary of uh, publication, research, and innovation. Right. Publication, research, and innovation, yeah. which are good subtopics also for ma matters uh, helping youth to get opportunities sure. and even mentorship yeah. and career development. Sure. All right, continue. Uh, so as the secretary of uh, that committee, I was given uh, that department based on, uh, you know, my capability. Aye. Yeah, they found out that when we were doing the vetting, uh, when I went for vetting, I was interviewed, and uh, I was listed as the best secretary uh, based oh. on having ideas to do with research, uh, innovation, and publication. Mm -hmm. So we are working with all the students at uh, Catholic University whose... Uh, who's, um, uh, the students that have innovative ideas, uh, yeah. that are talented in writing, you know, you have students who are just good in writing and not in speaking, so yeah. they would like to publish their written articles. Right. So we work with them, we find for them their cheap publishing firms, uh, like right. uh, Hiben Publishers, uh, to start mentoring them and uh, publishing their work. Yeah. So we have a number of students who right. have uh, written and published books. Yeah, there was a time I was there, I think last year, I was covering uh, National Youth Day. Yeah. And uh, I, was, I was speaking to, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, not I think, I was speaking to uh, Cabinet Secretary. Uh, he's not in sports, he's still in sports, but yeah. yeah. He's uh, big known for Talanta Heller. Yes, sure. And uh, I remember in one of the speeches, uh, they addressed that your institution has a department where they sponsor and support and also identify talent, which I thought was incredible and remarkable at yeah. your campus. Sure. So have you made use of it as well? Yeah, uh, the, the, it is called the Innovation Hub. Uh, the Innovation Hub is there at the campus and uh, it helps the students. Currently, if you look at the voting system that the Catholic University is using, you'll find that it was invented by a student there, a computer yeah. science student. Mm. It's the one who came up with the idea that uh, instead of us voting manually 
people complaining of results, I don't know, ballot box uh, here and there. Mm -hmm. We can come up with a system that one can vote man, uh, online and mm -hmm. the results are being counted uh, transparently. Right. So if you look at that innovation hub, it's the one that I walked with the student, right. um, assisted him in bringing up the idea and also uh, uh, making the idea to circulate to the students and to be acceptable to the administration. So yeah. when the idea was vetted by the Senate, it mm -hmm. was shortlisted, yeah. selected, and uh, as we speak, that is the, the, uh, the, uh, the channel that we are using to vote or to elect our leaders. Right. You mentioned the word Senate. <laughs> and for a person who's watching, they'll be like, this guy is an MP, he's a governor, <laughs> or what does Senate mean? Because uh, Senate definitely talks about... Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking yeah. about the... <laughs> the other Senate. The Senate and the National <laughs> Assembly. Sen yes. Mm, I'm talking yeah. about the, the University Senate. Exactly. I think that right. makes the decision in, on behalf of the University. Right. Yeah. So that, that's what Veta do. Maybe I'm also interested to know uh, what did they consider you for as the best fit to head what you're heading right now? Yeah, as the Secretary General? Right. Are there qualities that they looked at and they said, this guy is credible and he's fit? Maybe that uh, you can point out for a person who's watching to learn and also for your fellows uh, yeah. back at Square. Okay. Um, l l let me talk about the Secretary General of uh, the CUSA. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, we formed this uh, association, we, uh. we came up with an executive and uh, some of the things they were the executive was looking for is uh, one they were looking for a hard working person a person who is willing to sacrifice and a person who is uh, there for the association and right. uh, a person who is not um greedy like you know uh, you you are, you are you are there for the benefits of others but not for your own benefit mm -hmm. so we, we we applied like around three or four from different universities. I was from Kwea, we had one from Maseno, we had one from uh, KU, and we had one from Sigalagala. So right. when we came together, I, I, I remember we had a virtual uh, vetting. And, um, a virtual? It was yeah. a virtual, okay. Yeah. okay. Because we were in different places. Mm. So each and every person was uh, like giving out his experience, uh, what he has done, and what he think is going to do to mm. make this association uh, uh, succeed. So yeah. one of the things uh, I did is uh, I had already uh, made an, uh, written a proposal, yet I was not the Secretary General, but I had already written a proposal to the county government of Kakamega. Hi. I had reached out to the um, county, uh, you know, county cabinet secretary in the county uh, in the public service, uh, Honorable Godfrey War. So I had mm -hmm. written to him, I had already briefed him on the idea, and um, we booked the, the appointment. Yeah. So now, uh, I told him that we are coming as executive team. Right. So when, I, uh, when we were doing the interview, I told them and uh, the, the, uh, we are yet to visit the county government of Kakamega regarding yeah. our association and right. how we can partner with the county government. Right. So, uh, you know, the, the guys who are doing vetting, they thought like, ah, how can if someone has, is not yet given the mandate and he has started showing that he can do it, he can deliver. So that's when I was given the post of the Secretary General because they saw I can uh, write more proposals and I can reach yeah. out to so many leaders. Right. Yeah. In short, you are a mini MCA, a mini governor, <laughs> and a mini future yeah. uh, deputy president <laughs> or even president to yeah. even blow it off the roof. Mm -hmm. And that's an incredible thing. I think uh, that's inspiring sure. for someone who is watching. Yeah. Now, let's get to the nitty gritties of what you do at in that whole docket. Mm -hmm. So how do you coordinate uh, uh, students? Uh, I understand that we've mentioned it that mm. at your institution you have the innovation hub. Mm. Uh, how do you identify talents and also opportunities for people at uh, Sigalagala? You've mentioned Sigalagala. Mm. The other one is KU. How mm. do you put together and source and coordinate all these groups of people so that they become one voice? Okay. So if you look at our structure, you'll find that at the executive we have the president, the vice president, the secretary general, uh, among others. So we also have the university representatives, like in each university, we have a Kuksa university representative. Right. If you come down here at every constituency, because if you look at the Kakamega counties, uh, made up of 12 sub-counties. So each sub-counties, we have two uh, uh, constituency representatives, of which they report to the executive which is uh, made up of the president and uh, among other uh, executive team. Yeah. So uh, who is the president, once again? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, the president of Kuksa is uh, uh -huh. known as uh, Teddy 
uh, Ernest Onyango and uh, he's a third year student still at Kwea. No 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 at ah. Maseno University. Oh, at Maseno. Yeah, oh. I'm the only leader from Kwea. Right in yeah. Nairobi and yeah, to make it Nairobi. even better. Okay, <laughs> continue. Then if you look at our legal secretary who is right. in charge of uh, legal affairs She's right. a lady from Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the vice president, she's from Kaimosi University. So uh -huh. you find that we are made up of uh, students from different institutions. And different so counties. Yeah, in different uh, mm -hmm. counties. Okay. So you'll find out that uh, for us to ensure that we have one voice, yes. the constituency representatives will ensure that anything that is happening at the constituency level, the problems that are at the constituency level, we yeah. are able to get them through you. Right. Is you that you are going to report to the executive that uh, this semester or this term the university students missed out on bursaries. Right. So we as the executive now we look into it and see how comes that the high schools were given bursaries, uh, few universities were given bursaries from maybe Mias West constituency, from Mias East constituency, from Lurambi, and yeah. uh, the KMTC were left out. So we'll reach right. out to the MP, we'll right. question the MP, and maybe the MP will brief us on. Uh, what is happening maybe for us to understand is it that right. because the, maybe there was no enough disbursement for the CDF funds that's why uh, the college students were left out and the MP should also now promise us that in, in next application mm. uh, the university students or colleges or, or the, the, the group that was left out at least is assured of getting the bursary right. because yeah, we are into empowering the youth, right. educating them empowerment, educating yeah. and and uh, you know, nurturing uh, leadership. Also creating opportunities, you yeah, had mentioned sure. that before. Yeah. Now, uh, lastly, before we move away from what you do and mm -hmm. the students, before we get deeper into it, does it come with a token or a stipend or yeah, something? Yeah, um, I, I can say that right now, uh, it doesn't come with a token mm -hmm. because um, it's a l more of volunteering. Because right. uh, it's like a, a God-sent task. Okay. Yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, God is telling you that right. we want to use you to deliver yes. people from in short it's a yeah. calling yeah it's, it's a like calling. a calling all right so uh -huh. but as we are still progressing as we are going on maybe right. the fruits will just come on their own right yeah interesting let's shift gears uh, when it comes to matters youth uh there's a lot especially in the world we live in today from technology and we can even uh, diversify it to things like coding uh, yeah. coding is now here yeah. that is tech there's a word called fintech finance merging with tech mm. and all these are actually inventions that uh, should give the youth mm. or young people opportunities mm. and now in campus how are you guys helping each other to also go with these platforms that not only are they just here to help you socialize and connect but mm. they are also platforms of creating revenue um, mm. i love the fact that we have so many tiktokers mm. uh, somebody is just in their house they're live on their tiktok and people are sending them gifts yeah. at the end of the day those gifts can be transformed into, into money, money. Yeah. Uh, you could record your own podcast your post online uh, at the end of the month youtube sends you a check mm. that's money being made uh, you can go to an apartment, record and talk about the apartment, you get paid. That's a job, a full-time mm -hmm. job, as compared mm -hmm. to somebody who have to finish campus, graduate, get your certificate, mm -hmm. and then start applying for jobs. How do you help students in your group to learn and understand about this? Okay, initially, uh, t talking about coding, fintech, and uh, among all other things you've mentioned, right. I can say that Catholic University has really helped students to do those things. In uh, what way? Coming back to the committee where I'm the secretary, mm -hmm. the research, innovation, and committee. Okay. We have a student uh, from Catholic University who uh, is, is into coding, and um, he innovated a platform where uh, it's, uh, it, it collects tickets. For example, if you're having uh, an event and you want people to attend, yeah. instead of uh, sending money to pay bill, sending right. money to mm. uh, send money, you'll right. now uh, use... Uh, his platform among right. other students that they developed. Yes. So you'll use that platform mm -hmm. to book for your ticket and you'll get uh, an email, you'll get your uh, uh, ticket card, uh, the card, the confirmation card. Mm -hmm. that, is w that is what you are going to use as you'll right. be entering that event. Right. So you'll find out that mm, uh, Catholic University is the one that worked with the student from mm -hmm. the beginning to the end through uh, Innovation Research and Publications Committee. Because yeah. when he came up with the idea, we are the first uh, university that uh, I can say tried if it can work. I remember we hosted uh, Mr. and Miss Square 
and yeah. uh, in terms of buying the tickets, we mm. used his uh, platform and mm. it worked on well. So from there, other events were now looking for him. They were now mm. looking for me. Up to now as we speak, uh, his, his, his platform has developed in a manner that you can receive funds from, it's like over a wallet. You can receive funds, I know, you know how this PayPal works. Mm -hmm. So you can receive funds from, if you are a freelancer, a journalist, you are a, uh, someone who is working online, you can mm -hmm. receive funds from Cameroon, you can receive funds from USA, UK, yeah. through uh, his uh, wallet pl platform known as the PayD. Oh, so it's like a money transfer, yeah. a digital money transfer sure. application. Yeah. So as oh, long as mm -hmm. you create that wallet, right. you are uh, given your password and right. everything, you can receive money and you are sure your money right. is safe. And that's an app developed from scratch from a yeah, student yeah, at from school. scratch. Yeah. So that's incredible and, and remarkable. And uh, I can right. say uh -huh. he was just a first year law student. First year law student. Yeah. yeah. Not even a first year <laughs> something else. Yeah. Nice, incredible. But, uh, but also when you, l when you look at the way tech is mm. advancing, mm. now uh, stories are AI coming in there, mm. and now we have chat GPT that's also aiding, mm. and uh, we even have stories, uh, uh, software development, web mm. development, we have now stories, uh, uh, what are they calling it? Coding languages from mm. the Python and the rest, and when you get Caribbean sound, DAO, I've forgotten the name, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about it later. Yeah. So all these things are actually here to uh, help you guys who mm. are in learning institutions to just develop your facets professionally. Mm. Uh, when it comes to now uh, individuals who want to be mentored mm. and uh, take on that journey of mentorship, mm. how do you identify individual like single-handedly? Because oh. uh, now at Queer, at Queer uh, I, I'll tend to believe that you guys are in sync. And now that you guys have that innovation habit, it's even easy to identify who is in mm. it and who is not. But then there's those students who sometimes they veer off the road. Mm. Or maybe at that time or that season, they're not ready for that mentorship journey. Yeah. Some of them are trying. I believe everybody who is still in campus is still trying to figure out who they are. Yeah, sure. I believe that. Sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but we can talk later. So how do you take that journey? and single-handedly start helping students to come here for mentorship. Mm. Yes, you're doing this, you're pursuing this course, but you need a sense mm. of direction. How do you mm. do that? Okay, you'll find out that when we organize for summits, like entrepreneurship summits, not all right. are going to attend. Mm -hmm. Some will feel like, ah, that's a boring session. So right. it's now upon us to reach out to students individually. Mm -hmm. So what, what we do... So how do you do? Uh, you, you find that most of these people who are into coding, they are students of uh, computer science and IT. Yeah. So, and you know, like a lecturer who is teaching you, he knows you better than he knows yourself. So he knows your weakness, he knows your potential. Mm -hmm. Then we will go to the Department of Computer Science. Wow. We will engage with the HOD of Computer Science. We will take the HOD. Uh, we have this summit, and these are the ideas. These are the students we want. And... Um, do you have, uh, looking at your students, that because you, are, you, are, you have been teaching them, do you have any student who can do coding? Then the lecturer would figure out and see, oh, uh, Moses knows coding, uh, Charlotte knows coding, Candy knows coding, I can. and he will now give us th their contacts and their, mm -hmm. uh, their names. Yeah. So now, from the department, we now come, sit and see. We are looking for three or four students who are doing, who, who knows how to do coding. Because yeah. uh, this company is uh, training on uh, uh, young developers. Yeah. This organization is looking for volunteers to do coding at a small token. Mm. So now we'll now, because we have the contacts and we have the students, we'll call them, we'll mm. invite them to our offices. Then yeah. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll not tell them that uh, this organization wants you, but mm. we want to know if they really know what they are doing and if they really want to uh, like move higher. So we'll yeah. engage them in questions like, um, how much uh, do you earn from coding? Have you coded mm. before? Have you developed your own website? This and this. Then yeah. in a just amazing occasion, we'll see the students uh, showing their work, showing yeah. their just personal website. We had someone who, a student from computer science who developed a, a site where it's like um, a shopping site. You yeah. can just pick items and you know yeah. pay. Right. So we find that, ah, this is amazing. So, so you guys yeah. know how to do all these things. Now we we'll now bring the idea. Right. Do you know that this organization is looking for, uh, you know, do you know that IBM is looking for young developers who knows how to code? Do you right. know that uh, Huawei, like Kristen as I'm speaking, Huawei right. is partnering with Queer Computer Department right. and is um, mm. giving them opportunity to right. compete with other students uh, yeah. globally from China yeah, right. and other universities. Right. Recently, Smartest they, tech as yeah, well. Uh -huh. sure. 
Okay. Recently, they did their examination, and we had some of our students participating in the examination. Those yeah. who are interested and those who knows really what they want to be. Right. Yeah, they are uh -huh. part of Huawei, and some of them have uh, ended up earning scholarship from Huawei company. Right. And uh, as we speak, the, co the student coordinator of computer science, as I'm speaking, yeah. I think is working with the Huawei. Right. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, Google, has Google tried to reach out? Because mm -hmm. uh, I believe Google is also one of the biggest partnerships when it comes to these stories, identifying talent, giving mm -hmm. people opportunities. At some point, I spoke to a guest here who, mm -hmm. who has a certification on, I think mm -hmm. it's Google SEO, something that has to do with uh, search engine optimization mm -hmm. and many other uh, sites. Uh, I think it's called the back end part. Mm -hmm. of and also, I think it goes deeper into stories of coding and yeah. development. Mm -hmm. uh, um, for Google, uh, I don't think, but uh, the, uh -huh. the, the, the companies that I know have reached out to us uh, right. to work with us. I can uh, Chrome, uh -huh. I know of Chrome, right. I know of uh, IBM, uh -huh. I know of Nakada that has even taken our students to do right. their research for them, and they were being paid around twenty thousand per every right. uh, submission of the research. Right. Found that Nakada mm. was, uh, gave them a contract of around three months. Yeah. to do research in universities to find out uh, the level of drugs among uh, university students. Right. So we find that when Nakada uh, wrote to us and they were looking for students, already we were aware mm. who can do this, who can't do this, who is right. good in doing this, yeah. who can even volunteer to do without even a token. So okay. those are the students we, we used to work with them and we recommended them to Nakada and yeah. they got something. Right. So as I said, Huawei, Huawei yeah. has given some of our students internship Mm. Um, and some of these um, insurance companies right. uh, and uh, research companies like Corat Africa has mm. also given our students internship and right. uh, among many companies that I may not be able to yeah. uh, remember them. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, also, when it, when, when it comes to now, uh, for example, a student who, who's already maybe, they're like maybe a third, because third year almost, yeah. depending yeah. on the course and how long mm. it takes. For a student who's just about to exit, can they benefit uh, in being part of that even while they're outside campus? Mm. Yeah, I think they can benefit because you find that most of these students, when they go to do their um, uh, internships or attachments, mm. majority of them, who delivers, you find that the companies retain them. Right. So like recently we had two that were retained by Huawei and they are now working to different uh, institutions, um, teaching uh, students of uh, IT department on how to do coding, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ensuring that they, they are the Huawei examination reaches out to many other students from different universities. You find that the, the guys who are doing all these things, they are not uh, you know, foreigners, they are not uh, white mm. people, they're just uh, university students. Two and from Kenyans, Kuea, exactly. others from JQuat, among yeah. others. So we okay. find that mm -hmm. even as I'm speaking, there is an organization right. that has reached out to us and is looking for right. volunteers mm -hmm. or who knows how to do coding because the organization wants to, you know, the, the, the things to do with now CBC. Right. Uh, now they want to start working to high schools, right. to start teaching high school students to do coding so that you just don't start learning these things at the campus level, college level, so yeah. that you know them from the high school level as yeah. long as, as uh, by the time you are joining campus, mm. uh, umeiva. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Excellent. There's a, there's, a, there's a point where you mentioned that uh, this project is uh, centered on a group of students who are in specific counties. Is it open to someone who is in Turkana or Kajiado? Oh, Amala yeah, Zima, yeah. they must be part of that cocoon. Mm, no, uh, I, I might say that when we are starting this thing, uh -huh. uh, we always start as a one region or one county just simply because of governance. Oh, governance. But when it comes okay. to working, collaborations and partnerships, we are open to any student because we are all f uh, citizens of the uh, Great Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. and we are here to help each other. Right. Tomorrow, I might be in Kakamega, but I'll not remain in Kakamega forever. Right. Tomorrow, I might be going to Rukana. And if mm. I denied you that opportunity to work with me, right. I, I, will, I will get problems. Mm. So you find that we are working with uh, everybody. Right. So you'll find that um, we as the association, we might have a student who is in Turukana University or in mm. an institution in Turukana, but is based in uh, Kakamega. So mm. we have some other students who are based in Turukana, they will mm. like the idea. So we'll not, they will ask the, the, the person, can I join and also do the, this thing you are doing? So right. we will not deny the, the, the students because mm -hmm. they are from Turukana. Right. We'll join them because as we are speaking, we have 
students from Bungoma, we have students mm -hmm. from Viga, we have students from Busia, students from even Nairobi, students from Mombasa, right. whom we are w working together. Yeah. Right. So we are open to any youth and any student. Uh, before we shift gears, what is the most interesting um, innovation, or rather, I think invention, what is the most interesting invention have you come across in your line of duty? Uh, I think say this one was, it was extremely excellent. Um, like this guy is super creative. Like in short, he or she is a genius. Mm. I think uh, I can say that um, one is about the, 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 the voting, uh, online voting election system that I mentioned to you. And I felt like if we can be using... It worked? Yeah, it worked. Is it a proposal? Is it, mm. uh, is it a prototype of uh, to I replace I IEBC? Mm. Amma, what do you mean? <laughs> Something <laughs> that I think uh -huh. that... Um, even uh, if, ABC in if can IBC buy. can borrow, right. uh, we might uh, stop having these one. issues of uh, election malpractice and it is Right. So it's yeah. meant to actually yeah. come in and fill yeah. that gap. Yeah. Talk about it shortly. B because initially, mm. you'll find that uh, university students were even going ahead and killing themselves because of, you'll find that right. uh, someone is complaining that his votes has been rigged right. or this number, 1,000 students voted, this one, uh, his uh, results are missing. So you find that manual voting was hectic in terms of transparency and among other things. But when this uh, online platform w came and was developed, they mm -hmm. tested and there was minimal malpractice. You find that when something is starting, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't just boom. Yeah. So uh, at that level, uh, it, it grew up, it grew up, and it, it reached a level whereby if uh, registered voters are a thousand, when you right. register as a voter, right. you'll wait, get... Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's a website, uh, it's an not app... Uh, it's an app. Oh, it's an uh, app. A voting app. Oh, it has a name? Yeah. Uh, what is the name? Um, uh, once I, one I rem once okay. I remember, I'll share. Really go ahead. So. But uh, it's an app. Once you click, you can register it, uh, upload your profile, and mm. all your details. Oh, it's like signing into a citizen? Yeah. Okay, I get so, you. <laughs> so, so when you're going to right. vote, mm -hmm. you'll just see all the candidates there. Right. From the president, faculty, uh, ETC. Mm. So you just Even your select. opponents as well. Yeah. And uh -huh. you cannot vote okay. twice. Right. Once you vote once, it mm. is closed and you receive a notification message. Yeah. But now for such an invention, there's a back end uh, that we talked about stories according. So mm. <laughs> who, who exactly are handling the back end? Uh, I think and also how's their level of integrity? <laughs> uh, I, I think that that is where... Um, the problem sometimes I can say is because you know uh, when when in in every election whether uh, the system is okay or is not okay the losing candidate will always feel that the system was tempered so yeah. you'll find that so how do you ensure transparency is, is so evident uh, on this transparency uh -huh. we'll have uh, uh, when we are we, when we are voting right. they will project on the um, uh, projector in okay. a room, in an electoral room. Right. So when a student votes, if mm. I vote for candidate A, mm. it will show candidate A uh, has been voted by so and so, right. and his vo th the votes are counting. The votes are counting. Mm. Uh, in the ground, as the voters are voting, the results are counting. So you, mm. you will see that um, so and so has been voted uh, at this time, and it, it will show the time was voted and everything. So if you come to complain that my elections were rigged, then they will just give you the data that mm. these were the registered voters, these yeah. are the students who registered for voting, yeah. right. and this is the ones who were voted, and each and every student voted yeah. at this time. So in a matter that you are taking to court, then mm. once you vote, you will receive yes. a notification that you have voted. Then we will right. demand for those notifications. Uh. So if you say that you, ha you had 300 votes, the right. system shows you only had 200 votes, then you'll have to bring the mm. students with their notification. So right. when we, we insert the code, it mm. will show the person you voted for. Right, that's so an interesting so invention. You, you, yeah. you, you, you will pick vo people who voted uh -huh. for candidate B right. to come and tell us that these are your voters. We'll just yeah. take the code, insert, yeah. it will show and you voted at this time. All the voters, yeah. and, and it's real time. Yeah. Is it another version of Fungweni Sava to Nataka Kujua? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we have... Candidates open will the always service. demand yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. it was tempered for. Okay. So at that scenario, that's when we now open those servers, and yeah. after opening the servers, right. we'll now insert those codes and yeah, yeah. give you all the, dat the data that you want. Have you guys tried to pitch that idea to uh, IABC? We, you will answer later. All right, You'll all answer right. later. <laughs> now let's shift gears. Um, in this country, uh, the biggest problem the youth uh, face, apart from 
mental health issues mm. uh, the biggest one is unemployment mm. kupata kazi mm. uh, kutengeneza kazi mm. na kuwa na kazi yeah. so how are you guys coming in uh, at this time and season mm. of the year to help uh, not only just students mm. but any young person and also mm. th that who is watching this show if they will join your uh, group Mm. How are they going to solve the problem of unemployment? Um, I love the fact we talked about innovation. Mm. Stories is a fintech, uh, mm. uh, web development. Do you, you guys have an app already that's mm. helping manage elections. Sure. How is this going to help? Uh, maybe just, Kidogo, I know we can't permanently eradicate yeah. or alleviate stories is unemployment, sure. but at least you can help a number of people as they get into these opportunities. Mm. Also, the volunteer part is helping because you can volunteer, they support yeah. your talent, and finally you get the job. Mm. But also you can learn and get the skills that will make you create your own employment that will yeah. also help you employ others mm. and that's an incredible thing creating opportunities so yeah. how are you guys helping that part um, I think one thing we are doing is um, uh, uh, <coughs> rooting out the mentality of uh, students that if you have been into campus you must work in an office or you must mm -hmm. start working from top that exactly. is not the case. Mm -hmm. So if at all time will r your time will reach to work in an office, right. then that is your destiny. You will go and work in an office. But uh, whatever we are insisting, whatever we are telling the youth is use what you have to get what you need. In that we are telling, we are educating the youth, empowering them and telling them that uh, you as a youth, if you are creative, if, if you know, you, if you are talented in singing, then we are, work, we are going to work with you uh, ensure that your song that you are singing, mm -hmm. they reach out to uh, people, you get sponsorship, you get uh, partnerships, collaboration with other people. If you are talented in, in dancing, that's as you had mentioned about TikTok, you'll find mm -hmm. that we will support you in terms of TikTok because we, we also receive uh, different brands that come to support our, our, um, our events. We have mm -hmm. the Daima, we have Star Times, we have Show Marks. So we'll tell them we have this guy who is TikTok oriented, he has mm. one million followers and he can market for you. So yeah. we'll now recommend you to the company and you'll start marketing for them. So from yeah. there you, you are going to start getting your, your own token. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we also tell the youth that you can just start from something. The little you have, even it can be volunteering of where you are just getting only airtime. Then yeah. from there, the, the most uh, useful thing in life is getting experience. Because right. even if you graduate, exposure and yeah, experience, and exposure. Mm -hmm. even if you graduate with the first class honors and you yeah. don't have experience, you'll yes. find that a person who has graduated with the pass is being yeah. hired because of the experience. Or a person who had a certificate yeah. and they've been in the industry for a while yeah. and you're here with a degree, so yeah. you can't compare their skills and sure. experience. Yeah. Yeah. So now okay. we are telling all these our students that it's uh -huh. up to you to at least ensure that you get the experience Mm -hmm. the exposure right. to, add up, to add on top of your academic certificates. Right. Because there's a time these two, once when they come together, they merge together, they will make you a great person. So you mm -hmm. find that when you are in campus, we are advising you to uh, like jump into any opportunity that mm -hmm. is available. That comes across. Yeah. yeah. It can be uh, through volunteering in a non-governmental organization because we, yeah. have ha we have had organizations reaching out to us uh, mm. looking for students who are ready to volunteer. volunteer and you've mentioned yeah. one. Uh -huh. Like Red Cross, among others. Yeah. So as long as you are still in campus and uh, yes. uh, you know your uh, you, you major source of income is from your parents, yes. you can just still go volunteer, get a certificate, right. um, get the experience and the exposure. So mm -hmm. one day, you will go to look uh, for a job elsewhere, maybe in the yeah. same, same company that you mm. volunteered that has advertised for now a paying job. Yeah. And looking at your CV, right. you will see, oh, you mm. once worked for us for three or four months without right. a pay. They will mm. hire you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's because you have now the experience. Advice. Yeah, uh, I think you reminded me of one of the guests I interviewed here who, uh, who owns um, a paint yeah, a paint distributing company who she was employed at one of the paint contributor suppliers in the country and then yeah. she got the idea she was an intern i believe and she rose like right now she's one of the biggest paint suppliers in the country which is an incredible thing mm. and also uh, i also tend to be like see a master put a recommendation when they yeah one you can even start your own company, yeah, your own company uh, for, sure. for, for such an example so we mm. are out of time maybe a uh, story in a drugs because uh, drugs are also among the biggest problems that the youth are facing in kenya yeah. and 
most of them are actually from higher learning institutions, campuses mm. and the rest. Mm. So uh, do you feel like you guys are also helping in terms of um, ensuring that you know they get counseling services. Mm. Uh, in campus, sometimes it's not easy to tell if somebody is into something. Mm. But sometimes it's easy to read the body language, and mm. you can definitely deduce this guy is abusing something. Mm. So shortly, in just one minute, because you are exiting, how yeah. are you guys also helping solve that menace? Just shortly before you uh, tell us what people should expect from your organization this mm. year and what you attend to achieve. Okay, shortly I can say that uh, the youth they go into drugs maybe due to depression. Mm -hmm. stress like recently we had one of our students who committed suicide because of depression and uh, I can say that if you have uh, uh, something that is stressing you kindly just reach out to our offices mm -hmm. to our student office Aye. we also have the counseling labs you mm -hmm. can come and share Aye. if it's financial crisis we can see how we are going to work together to help you because in, in school we have different uh, we have the chaplain's office where mm -hmm. we are giving, uh, donating foods to needy students. Yeah. We have uh, scholarships that are supporting bright needy students. Yeah. We have um, work study programs that the one, the one I'm a beneficiary of it. Yeah. So if you share, at least we can oh. try to also uh, mm -hmm. share with the, those on top management. Yeah. see how we can see help how you rather than help going you. into drugs. All right. Yeah. So, Sal, we have to go. Uh, just uh, two, three comments, and then you tell us where people can catch you on socials. Are on X, uh, Darius Lucena, Sema, good morning. Ivory Shinyalu, well represented, I believe. It's also in connected in Kakamega County. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to mention. Okay, I'm going to say Ivasha Karagita, that is Brenda Kidogo. And then, all uh, right, uh, that's a shout out as well. Uh, Kalosian Kahid and Sema, hashtag good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Watuangu Nguvu locked in from Okundani Diani. Wow, Diani, nice, we got you. Shout out to you. And then uh, Eunice Githohori Walondia, and Asema Pomoja Shana. Shout out to you and thank you so much for watching. Tell uh, people and your fans and also the people you work with and those that are watching right now, how can they catch you shortly in like 10 seconds? And right. what should they expect from your organizations moving forward for right. 2024 in 10 seconds? This All is right. your I, I think I'll start with that. You can get me on social media, Facebook at Brian Angel Kweyu, on X at Secretary General underscore Kusa, on LinkedIn at uh, Mr. Brian Kweyu, and uh, in all the social media platforms at uh, Mr. Brian Kweyu or Brian Kweyu. Then we can work together with you. So as a uh, Kuksa, we are ensuring that Come 2027, we are coming up with our candidate who is a youth. And come 2020, 2032, we are coming out uh, with a candidate to uh, contest for gubernatorial seat in Kakamega from the zone of Kuksa zone, who is a youth. So mainly as Kuksa, we are hoping the best for the youth and we want to work together with the elected uh, leaders in Kakamega County. Note that once we have elected you, that's when everything stops. Again, the leaders are... Uh, will come again to look for us once the election period is, uh, is, is uh, moving closer. We want from the time you are being given your certificate to and the time you are being sworn in as an MP, as an MC, as a governor, as a senator, as a woman rep, right. we mm -hmm. work with you till okay. the end. Right. Yeah. And thank you. We are out of time. Thank you so much, Brian, for coming through. I think it's been a great conversation and I like yeah. it. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for hosting me too. Karibusana. Thank you for watching and keeping us company from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm Brian Sakwa at Y254 channel and at Brian Sakwa on one. We'll definitely see you next time right here. Thank you for watching.